Good morning, soul family. Happy halloween -y for people who celebrate Halloween. I'm not doing anything. This is the first year, I think, since I actually started playing around with Halloween that I'm uh, not dressing up as anything or anyone. In my life, it's time for all the masks to come off and costumes to be put away and just be real. My whole family is just being real this year. My grandson's not dressing up. My daughter's not. They're just staying home and watching movies and having really good snacks. So she asked Trey this morning, what do you want? And he's like, Kit Kat, eggnog, and pizza. And she's like, that's when he was on his way to school. And she's like, all right, that's what it'll be. So it's family night and snuggling inside with soft blankets with fun movies. So whatever you guys are doing, if you're celebrating, if you're home with your families, maybe you're in a different country that doesn't celebrate Halloween or maybe your belief doesn't celebrate Halloween. I never celebrated it my whole life. I just kind of started playing with it. But... All right, let's see. Song, I feel it coming, babe. You hear it? I feel it coming, babe. I had beautiful dreams last night. I was dancing in my dreams. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Huh. Okay, everybody remember to bring and keep your black cats in the house. Actually, keep all your animals in because they're terrified of the fireworks. If there are fireworks that people shoot off, sometimes they do on Halloween, you know. But there are kind of some sick people out there that do bad things to animals. So I would just keep my animals in, period. Mine, mine are up where it's safe, so they won't be out. But um, uh, what deck do we want to work with? Oh, I was literally split. I heard angels and then oracle. So just let me give me a second and let me, let me get an idea of what I'm going to ask. I'm going to give myself a sign. What is it going to be? Okay, Oracle of Shadows and Light. Okie dokie. Correct neutrality. Oh, Sage. Here's the song on about the person who loved her, the girl and never told her because he was afraid of letting go. Here's to him letting go and, and expressing his feelings like Spirit's been telling us we need to do. I love this. I'm down to the dregs on my uh, sage wands, so it's time for me to break out another one of my beautiful sage wands for myself. I guess I'll have to choose one with a crystal that's in my highest good. So if you guys are um, wanting, this is a good time actually, you know, Christmas is coming. Sage wands would be a really good gift, not to mention something for yourself. It's a useful tool. Really cool housewarming present because it's uh, it clears energy and it blesses homes. So a good gift to give to a realtor, for a realtor to give to their clients. Um, they're pretty cool. I use white California, California white sage, which is the strongest sage in uh, healing ceremonies, as well as, um, blessings, as well as clearing. So, uh, go ahead and look at my page, www.theangelswhisper.com. I said the, the whispers of angels the other day <laughs> because I had that for so long because I wasn't able to get my domain name, but here's my card. Here we are. That's truly who I am. The angels whisper, queen of wands. Life coaching, intuitive readings, dream analysis, Reiki healing, Queen of Wands, ceremonial sage wands, theangelswhisper.com. <laughs> so if I can help you out, go there. My daughter uh, was using some kind of sage, and, and I told you when I, I gave her hers, and she didn't want to light it, so she used some that she picked, and it smelled weird. I don't know. This sage smells differently. Maybe it's because it's so fresh. Maybe it smells differently after it's you know been sitting around a while. Ooh. I like that we're getting a different message that we haven't had for a while because we've had so many repeats, right? Okay, so here you see this one. I know this message well. This person is stifled, bored, and stuck. They are, you see this one sitting there in her finery, all dressed up, tight. Actually, I like her outfit. It's pretty cool. I like that kind of, you know, if, if I was going to get dressed up, I think that's kind of a bitchin' looking outfit. And there's the color purple again. I keep seeing the color purple. And the gold of alchemy, right? And gold, 
So I'm seeing a lot of things. I'm seeing the silver. The things are gray in this person's life, not black and white. Um, but their body is surrounded in purple. This might be me because I've been showing my been showing myself as purple in purple lately. Um, it's interesting. Um, she's not happy. She's she's tired of, of of you know doing what she's supposed to do. She's being good. She's being nice. She's being polite, but it isn't working. You know. She's, she's very passionate, and she does have wings that are hidden underneath that tight bodice. You can't see them. She's listening to somebody. So she or he, this could be a male as well. Um, somebody's giving them a lecture about, how, about etiquette, how you have to behave. I would never wear my hair up like that in a net. But you know what's interesting is I think she's a cat, and it's hidden underneath because look at the ears. She's got the ears of a cat. Interesting. She or he has the ears of a cat. She's bored. She's not happy. She, she's ready to escape as, you know, as soon as she can. She's tired of the people around her. They're stiff. They're formal. They're stuffy. Um, she's got protocol. So she's kind of got like a military, militant um, system around her. She wants out. She wants freedom. I want freedom. I, 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 want, to, I want to be set free. She's in some type of a jail type of a situation in her life. She's very, very frustrated. And it's growing underneath her. And pretty soon she's just going to bust out. So her message to you is, you know, it's very admirable that you are trying to be or, or attempting to be pleasant and polite, you know, and, and not making waves and, and not, not voicing your, your concern or who you really are. But now's the time to show who you truly are and really what you have to feel. It's time to express it. You know, it's great that you want to be... Um, you know, you don't want to rock the boat. You, you want to keep things peaceful and, you know, copacetic um, and not be the troublemaker. Um, but if you, this is the truth of how you truly feel, you're not being true to yourself, right? You're bottling up yourself. And, and, that, and that's putting you in, it's like that song that we kept getting yesterday about the person who's in that crowd. Remember with those people? Now, the difference in that crowd was they were drinking, smoking, throwing up, gossiping, whatever it was, it was still the same type of situation where they were somewhere they didn't want to be. And yet they were there. And and, and she wasn't she was she was that, that girl or guy was just trying to, you know, be polite about it because that's where her friends wanted to be. But the truth was, I don't want to be there. I want to be anywhere but here. And what it's doing is it's it, it will make you physically sick. Look at her, she's pale. She's very gray looking. It's aged her, right? So if you've been trying to act like the lady or act like the gentleman, you know, you're cheating yourself out, out of something wonderful. Your, your true life experience. And sometimes they're talking about, you know, she's got rules that have been imposed on her by someone other than herself. And she's trying to obey the rules. I heard this in my dream a while ago about obeying the rules. So sometimes rules need to be broken, right? Sometimes the, the line that I'm getting is to keep the spirit of the law sometimes means breaking the letter of the law. That's how there's revolts. That's how there is um, the French Revolution, right? Revolutions occur and then people start standing up. It's kind of like what's happening in Hollywood. All the people that were um, molested by that, by that um, director, it was a big, you know, big highfalutin person. So this could be an organization, a group of people, a family, a hierarchy, whoever it is that's in charge, that's cruel or domineering or whatever it is, it's not, they're not allowing you to be who you, you truly are and want to be. And that person was doing nefarious things. And when one person finally stood up, then the truth came out and everyone started coming forward, right? So there is a situation that, that to you is unfair. It's, it's absolutely disgusting. You don't like it, it's disgusting. And Spirit's telling you to speak up, right? And the thing is, just like what we saw in Hollywood, when you do this, when you stand up for what you believe in, others are going to be inspired too. And they're going to stand up for what they believe in. They're going to realize, I get to be who I am. I get to be and do what I want. I'm an adult. I'm free. I live in, you, you, you know, I live in a free country. I'm going to make the choice for what's in my highest good. And I'm going to rip out of these restraints. I'm going to rip this fussy dress off and take my hair down from this little stupid hairnet. And I'm going to wiggle out my cat ears and allow myself to be seen as I am. After all, it is Halloween. <laughs> that's the first message song right now let me love you so that may be you let, let you know let me love you let, talking to your own higher self your own inner child because you're being restricted you're restricting yourself from allowing love in 
Crack for neutrality on all levels. So one more of this and then one from the angels because uh, I heard both. And I started shuffling, so that must have meant I needed to go here. The darkest of days. Never let me go. Never let you go. You never let me down. It's been a hell of a night. Hell of a ride. On the edge of the night. I never let you go. You never let me down. Don't you give up on me. I spoke my truth today. I stand by it. Straight up. I stand by it. I speak my truth when it comes to my heart. You know? And, and, and let the chips fall where they may. But uh, there's nothing worse than not being able to speak what's on your heart. You know? It's for yourself. It's not for the other person. It's for you. You need to be free to speak. It's called freedom of speech. Thank you very much. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Right now I'm seeing it's, not, it's okay to live a life that others don't understand. It's okay. Maybe that's not their scene. Maybe those people in that aristocratic society, you know, that stuffy society, like I said, the Kardashian lifestyle, why do I keep talking about them? I have no idea, but I do. Thank you for this message. Thank you for this message. <sighs> I'm going to take a drink of water while you take a look at the snow angel. All right. So the first message you see is frozen emotion. That's the first thing I see. This one is standing with frozen emotion all around her. She's not impressed. She's annoyed. She's a very passionate person. You can tell that. She's got fiery lips. She's got fiery blue eyes. She's got reddish gold in her hair. She's confident. She's, she's, she embraces her dark and her light. She's got light skin, dark wings. And uh, the signs are with you already. So the number is four. I don't even know what the other number was, but four means that the angels are with you, all around you, everywhere. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. And her message, this is the snow angel, and she's telling you, dude, how many times do you have to ask the same question over and over about what it is that you believe in your heart to be the truth? Yes, we've given you signs before, over and over, right? We, give, we get signs in, in songs, we get signs in, on license plates, we get signs in dreams, my dreams were so lucid last night. Four dreams, lucid. I went to bed very early and they started at 12. My dreams, 12.15, they started all night long. All consistently according to the dreams that I've been shown for the last four years. So, signs like that, right? Um, so, there are angels that are, that are assigned to do that, to bring you signs. Specifically, we call and we ask for a sign. Give me a sign, show me. You know, often I'll put a post out saying, you know, you're looking for a sign, this is it. Right now the answer is yes. Oh wow, check it out, right when I said, oh she went away. Hummingbird flew up right when I said that. You're, if this is, you want the answer, your answer is yes. And the hummingbird went right to the feeder. So, they're telling you, to, she, this angel is telling you to wake up. She wants you to wake up and recognize that you're safe because I am an angel, I'm a good angel. She wants you to look around for her presence. The signs that she's bringing you, Right? Um, it's not that you that they're not there because we can see her snow angel right there. We can see it, and if you don't see it, it's it's willful blindness that's holding you back. It's it, it's it's you yourself that are not opening your eyes, maybe to the presence of angels in your life at all. You know, a lot, I get from people, you know, they're asking for things to change, and and and, and nothing's changing, and they ask for an answer, and it's not happening. But they don't see all the things that are happening that spirit's trying to show you. So a lot of the time, spirit is trying to show us what we need to do to get what it is that we're asking for because God helps those who help themselves everything doesn't come to us without doing the work that we're guided to do we've been given how many messages for the last several months about speaking our truth speak up don't be afraid to speak your truth because right now people are a little bit um, confused about what you truly feel speak your truth uh, you know I the re that's why I did what I did today because I kept getting from spirit um, in all of the messages that someone needed to speak. Well, these messages are also for me, right? So I felt like, okay, I'll speak. I don't have a problem speaking. If, if I can, you know, I got, I, I'm looking outside. They were just here a moment ago. I wonder if you can see them. Across over there, okay, they're all sitting on the tops of the trees, but you might see a couple flying around. Are they, right when I say that, they're not going to do it. The entire tree is filled with crows, and they were all flying around. So the crow says, and remember when the crows came here the other day? The crow says, walk your walk, talk your talk. So I did. So, and, and, and with the woman that was stifled and bored and stuck, and 
and tie, you know, trying to behave and trying to do, you know, walk the line and, 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 and act like she was okay with the way things were going, which was probably me. And then spirit said, you know, speak your truth and you'll realize that when you do, you'll, you'll inspire others to speak their truth. So maybe that's what I just did today. I, I, I decided, you know, I'm not okay with sitting around here waiting and not speaking my truth. I'm going to speak my truth. And once I did, then the crows started flying. That's interesting. So, so maybe you, by standing up, and maybe you're, there's an injustice going on in, in your life, at your workplace, in your, within your family, within your group of, of people, whatever. Um, maybe something needs to change, and nothing's going to change if nobody says anything, right? So you're wanting to know, is this the right path for me? And she's saying to you, look, if you miss that sign, I don't know what's going to convince you. You know, do you want me just to stand here with my hand on my hip and point to this little angel marking in the snow and show you that, look, I have wings. I'm an angel. There's the mark that I just left in the snow. Do you want me to do this again? Do you want me to actually lay down in front of you and say, I'm here. I'm here. It's me. Look at me. I'm standing in front of you. Because I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll continue to show you again and again that, yes, this is the truth of what you've been asking for. But you need to pay attention. You've been given very, very clear signs. And, and yes, they will be given to you again and again. But it's not that the signs aren't there. It's, re it's you refusing to believe in the signs that are in front of you. So you, your own fear and, and your, your own issues with, with uh, not taking what you want, your own issues with, with keeping yourself detached by keeping yourself bound up in that tight little corset, and, and sitting there and behaving and, and being quiet and hiding behind the wall of your fear or the wall of your um, whatever, you know, procrastination, that's your issue. Spirit is saying, look, we've told you again and again and again, you need to act immediately. This is it. This is your sign. If you're looking for a sign, okay, this is it. Take action immediately without hesitation. You are clearly protected. We've been shown again and again that when you do take this step, this leap of faith that, that we've been asked to take, you will be protected even though you can't see how it's going to go on the other end or how, where you're going to proceed from this moment. Spirit says, we had Archangel Metatron pushing us from behind, didn't we? You are safe. Take the leap of faith. You know where your heart wants to go. You're cared for. You're safe. You're loved. It's time for you to do exactly that for yourself. Care for yourself. Do what makes you happy, not everyone else. Yes, you can. You can do this. Yes, you are capable. I wrote, what did I say? I, I was talking to my girlfriend this morning and I said um, uh, that I had a, uh, something float through my mind and I couldn't remember what it was. And I said, I wish I could remember. Remember I saw the white heron that was flying, right? The white heron was flying and I said, I, I had made the statement right before I saw the white heron and I couldn't remember what the words were. Came to me this morning. It'll be over before you know it. It's smooth sailing. So it's kind of like the first jump into the deep end, right? It'll be over before you know it. Just do it. You're so scared. There's a song. I can't think of the song, what, what the name of it is. But it, I think it's by, it's by Creed. And you know what? I love the guy by Creed. I love his voice. And I think it's called Breathe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. I think it's called Breathe. And, and it's interesting because Breathe lyrics by Creed. Um, who do, you know, you never hear from that band anymore. I don't even know if they're together anymore, but it's been playing. It played for me this weekend. Please come now. I think I'm falling. I'm holding on to all I think is safe. It seems I found the road to nowhere and I'm trying to escape. I yelled back when I hear, heard thunder, but I'm down to one last breath. And with it, let me say, let me say, hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking maybe six feet ain't so far down. I'm looking down now that it's over, reflecting on all of my mistakes. I thought I found the road to somewhere somewhere in his grace. I cried out to heaven, save me, save me. Hold on, I lost my words. <laughs> I cried out to heaven, save me, save me, but I'm down to one last breath. And with it, let me say, I'm six feet, from, hold on, hold me now. So here's the angel, or Archangel Metatron that was standing behind you, the angels that are all with you. Remember we got the message yesterday? You have, you have extra angels. To support you in this situation clearly when they're telling you this they realize where you're at is not where you're meant to be right if they're telling you come do this please we're here we're giving you extra support they see you in a situation that's causing you pain and they're encouraging you and they're telling you we'll catch you it's like a child in the swimming pool 
and he wants to learn how to swim, but he's so scared to go in the deep end. And his dad's standing, I'm going to get emotional. His dad's standing in the deep end, or his mom saying, come, I'll catch you. Just jump. Don't you trust me? You know how much I love you. I will catch you. And spirit says, jump. And when you jump, you'll either learn to fly or you'll be held and you'll be caught on the way down. We will not let you fall. You need to trust. And it's so hard when people have been hurt to trust again. So in this sad song, hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking maybe six feet down ain't so far down. Sad eyes follow me, but I still believe there's something left for me. So please come stay with me because I still believe there's something left for you and me. For you and me. Hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking, hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking maybe six feet down ain't so far down. Please come. Now I think I'm falling. I'm holding on to all I think is safe. This is what you need to hold on to. To love, unconditional love. Spirit, they've got your back and you're safe. Take that leap of faith. Go to where there's love. Angels are with you. They're all around you. You are completely protected, safe, guided, and loved. There is no reason for fear. That's what that number means. It's all about trusting the right people. The ones that you trusted before are the ones that hurt you. Spirit didn't hurt you. The angels didn't hurt you. The angel standing in front of you didn't hurt you. You were hurt by the wrong people. It's time to forgive yourself and trust again and allow love in. Funny, I heard that song this weekend when I went up to do our reading and I heard it last weekend too. And I hadn't ever heard it before. I love it. I love that man's voice. Correct neutrality on all levels. So this is a message for me. I took the leap of faith today and I was scared when I did it. I will admit it. I was scared. I was scared. I didn't know if it was appropriate for me to do it or not. But I did it because it came from my heart. And uh, I'm glad I did it because that just gave me my confirmation that we want you to take your leap of faith. And by the stifled, bored, stuck person that we got in the first card, if you do that, maybe others will be inspired to stand up and speak their truth. I'm thinking of Corey Feldman now, the actor who says he's going to start naming names, naming the people who molested, who were the molesters. Good for it. Why should everybody hide the ones that hurt the others? It should be them that should be running, not the ones that were hurt. The ones that were hurt should never run. They're the victim. Don't run from the one who's... When you stand up to them, you realize they're bullies and they're afraid. People that try to control others are, are in fear. They don't have confidence. And when you stand up against them, then you'll see who really str who's strong. They will see that you are strong and, and they will back down from you. Okay, so we have two cards here. One, I'm laughing. <laughs> Page of fire. We've gotten this again and again. So we'll put it there to the side because it came out. And then we'll, uh, we'll just give it a, uh, a synopsis. Let's give, Let's give the rutilated quartz because rutilated quartz says that there's a healing taking place between two who had a misunderstanding or something that hurt them. Is, it's being energetically healed right now. Loving vibrations are being sent out from one to the other that have been hurt. And through that loving exchange, all is being healed. So this came out. We'll do this first since we already had it, the page of fire. There she is with my hooded cloak. I have that cloak and I didn't sell it. Something said not to sell it for some weird reason, even though I'm not getting dressed up. And there's her dragon behind her, ready to fly. Greece, world travel. The moon, paying attention to your intuition. She's commanding her. She's taking her creative, passionate energy, and she's commanding. She's taking control. She's taking control of her life. She's taking charge. I'm not going to wait for somebody to come save me. I'm going to take charge and I'm going to create what it is I want. I'm going to ignite my passion and send it out. I've got prickles in my hands with that. So that's what it is. I'm not waiting for someone else to step forward. I'm going to, Remember what, what was the message that we got yesterday? One of the cards that said, maybe it's you that needs to make the move. Well, I just did. So she's encouraging you to as well. I find it interesting that the dragon's wings look like a mountain. See, it looks like a mountain cliff that you would jump off of. But it's part of the dragon's wing. So it feels to me like maybe that's your cliff that you need to take the leap off. And then you, real, you don't realize that what you're jumping off, you're literally jumping off of spirit itself, which you are because spirit is in the earth. 
It's, it's, it's in creation. So when you jump off this and you go down and you land somewhere in here, you're flying with this beast. So it's talking about and this this energy, this person is is it's a new beginning. It's a creative, young, outgoing, confident, mischievous energy. Could be a Aries, Scorpio, Leo personality. It's a, it also could talk about passion for a, a for a project or an adventure, um, something new that's coming that, that you're going to be able to use your gifts. You deserve it, baby. That's what the song's saying, and we do. I'm going to give it to you. So that we're taking away since we've already had it. We'll go to the next message. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Okay, so don't be so heavy. Let's look in the picture. What's going on in the picture? What does she have? She's, so two of Earth. So a couple. It also has maybe something to do with finances. Um... Or she's something of worth. Earth means it's either you need to get grounded, because yeah, you do need to get grounded because they're telling you to make a, uh, to take a playful approach. So it, you know, relax. Maybe you're flying all over the place. I see a castle in the background that has a giant emerald on top of it. They're in the forest that I love, and there's rainbows above here. Rainbows come after a storm, so it's good times to come after a storm. Um, she's definitely in flight. So things are moving too much. Maybe you've got all your balls in the air like that one, right? She's juggling maybe. Um, it also could represent the type of individual. This person is very grounded, but they're, they're fiery. Look at the energy of the, of the colors that she's wearing. She's got red hair. So this could be an Aries person. This could be also Virgo, a Capricorn. Um, uh, what is the other one? Virgo, Capricorn. Why do I do this every time? Taurus. So it could be that kind of energy. Um, but the colors are, are of the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. So as I am worthy and I can, I am able. It's about creativity, self-worth. Um, but this person is fully in flight, so she's confident, right? This is the same as the page of, the, of, of, of fire that we just had. This one is confident, outgoing, clearly, because she's flying. Um, this could represent a man or a female. They're showing a female. So then there's nurturing energy in it as well. Um, if you want it, girl, come and get it. <laughs> oh, this is here for you. I did it, baby. Tell me, baby. So someone's telling you to reach out. So maybe this is your message, this song. If you want it, come and get it. It's here for you, right? You deserve it, baby. So... Maybe what's going on, if, if, you, if there's too much going on, need to, to make a decision, so you got to make a choice about doing something. I feel like, I mean, there must be a decision coming up, because I was struggling with this last night, but I always get things in advance. So maybe now what I did, and, and all the messages, because the messages are all about kind of what I already just did today, but as I said, if I'm getting it in advance, this is, I'm the um, example for you. So I, maybe you're going to be inspired to do what I did, and you're the one that has a decision that needs to be made, Right? And they're saying, don't be heavy about it. Keep it light. Keep it playful. Look at all the fun colors, right? Um, they're saying that you might be doing too much. I went to bed last night. Literally, I, I clocked off work. And this is, you're going to laugh because I, I went off at like 8.30. And I normally answer everybody, you know, when, when they call in. And I had clients angry, literally angry. I got a, two nasty emails saying, you know, you signed off. And it's like, wow, it's 8.30, you know. But And, and I, for a second, felt like, well, should I go back on? No. I'm exhausted. I'm flipping exhausted. So I wrote back this morning and I said, he said, you know, you, did you, you went off because you didn't want to answer me. And I said, no, actually, I work 24-7 with Spirit, seven days a week on Keen until 10, 30, 11 at night. And I'm exhausted. I went offline because I deserve a break. <laughs> so I'm no good to anyone if I'm exhausted. I have to take care of myself first. And that's what Spirit was telling us yesterday. So I told you guys, I'm going to take the advice that Spirit said, I said, you know, we were told to do a cord cutting meditation. I did. And I went to sleep early and I had prolific dreams and they were amazing, you know, and it's okay to do that. So right now, maybe you've been working too much. Spirit's been telling us that, you, you know, maybe at this time there's financial instability. She's only got two pence in her hand, two coins. So you may not have enough money right now. So that's why you're working. That's why I was working, right? Um, 
you've got too much in front of you. Maybe you've got your, you've got your time split. Remember the angel of time was talking about, you know, working so hard that you're not giving your energy to the right places. You're trying to juggle people, places, things, everything. And it's too much. It's, it's bringing you stress, right? You're trying to do what you're supposed to do with your job. And you're trying to take care of the ones at home and you're just, but you're not. Because when you have too much on your plate and you're giving too much, somebody suffers. Either your work suffers or your family suffers or you suffer or all of it suffers. So for me last night, everything was going to suffer if I didn't shut it down. And spirit said, do it. And I have to walk my walk and talk my talk because I'm the spiritual teacher. So when spirit says speak up, I speak up. When spirit says take a leap of faith, I take a leap of faith. Even if it's scary. And remember, the message was yesterday... Take this leap of faith even if, and stand in your integrity and speak your truth even if you feel you're going to lose someone by doing it. And I, that's where I was. And I did it. So I, I have to do the things. And I told you before, I will do what spirit tells me to do. I trust spirit. So if I stand here as a spiritual teacher in front of you and I do it and you watch me and I'm okay, you, you can do the same because spirit's got my back. Spirit's got your back too. We're not alone. So... At this time, about career, they're telling you if, if you want to, if, if you got to, uh, you're trying to make a decision, right? You're considering a lighter approach. So if, if it's about work and you're thinking, you know, I, I, I'm, I don't know about this job. I think I, I want to try something different or so they're saying, take a lighter approach, go slowly, methodically, you know, keep your current job and slowly kind of transition into the other one. Um, but the situation that you're involved in right now is asking for a solution. Uh, it's asking for you to make a choice. We've been, we've been getting this for quite a while. Um, you need to make a decision. They want you to stay open. Remember we were told that the king of water was going to be coming forward. There was going to be someone. Wow, I'm getting dizzy all of a sudden. The king of water was going to be coming forward with some information. And we were supposed to remain open to others' ideas, right? So stay open to creative ideas and others' perspectives. Um, and if you're having a difficult time making that choice, that's when they want you to li lighten up. So a playful approach would be for me, back off of it, go play. We saw the dolphins playing in the water, right? Remember the king of water was standing there with his hands across his chest? He was supposed to do something, and he was standing there stubborn, not making a decision. And the dolphins were playing in front. There were three dolphins. That was a th the, uh, the three of cups, I think, came forward as well. And the three, the three dolphins represent play. It also represents coming full circle, completion. So there is something that's completed. There is a decision that needs to be made to be moving forward. But you need to lighten up about it. Kind of, you know, don't be so heavy. Um... And when you lighten up, like the song right now, gotta let go, let go of all of our ghosts. Whatever you've been dragging around, let go of it. And when you let go of, of what the, the stuff that you've been dragging and the worry and the fear and kind of relax the hold of that clumped, clumped arms that are crossed over your chest, if you loosen up your arms and kind of shake it out a little bit and take a deep breath, like when I was on top of the mountain, you know, I had to stop all of a sudden and take a deep breath. It was feeling heavy, you know, I just needed to breathe, take a few deep breaths in that's what the hummingbird says too. Lighten up. That's what the hummingbird says. The message is lighten up. Pause. Take a. Take, remember we would see the hummingbird sit on the wire for a minute. That's if you're struggling to make your choice, right? It's about change, and, and dealing with change isn't isn't easy for any of us, you know. Even if you if you are prepared to go in a different direction, there's always things that that are challenging. You know, it could be that you're working more than one job. I am. I work. I work three different jobs. They're all in the same field, but the three different jobs. So it's about, you know, it's about juggling that, balancing that. Because she's holding on. She's balancing those coins up in the air. So juggling. I, I do my, my online work with Keen. I do my private readings and my private dream analysis. And then I do all of this work for free. But this takes up a lot of my work, a lot of my time, right? So I'm juggling those three things. Then I've got a family, my daughter and my grandson, and, and I've got two cats. And, I have, you know, I, I don't have very many friends here. So, but that's a lot for somebody to juggle. So maybe you're juggling multiple jobs. And it's, you know, balancing your budget, um, adapting to the situation you're in. I'm trying to figure out where I'm moving. i got to move in less than two months, right? So, I mean, if you can see me, I, I'm not sitting here. And, and I do know, somebody talked to me this morning, and, and she said, you know, you're going through all that you're going through. I want you to know that I watch what you say, and I, and I, look at the re I listen to the readings, and it's really helped me because I, I'm seeing what you're going through, and yet you still keep coming forward, and, and you're so positive, and... And you you lean in and it's and it's encouraging me. The letter was it was it was amazing. It was way way better than that. Her 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 email was amazing. It came to me this morning and I really needed it. And I said, you know, I would. I asked her if she'd say a prayer for me. 
on the behalf of my twin and I. And she said she absolutely would. And but she said, you know, maybe it'll help for you to know that what you're doing helps somebody like me. It doesn't take away the pain that you're going in, going through. Um, this, so I'm not saying this just for me. I'm saying this for you because we are all examples to others, right? She said, hey, sweetheart, I just heard your message and I will say a prayer for you. I was hesitant to let you know, but I felt compelled to do so now that I'm so truly benefiting from our connection and from the messages and the readings that you share. Those messages that come from spirit. I am a channel. They are not my gifts. They are, I use my gifts that spirit gives me, but they're spirit's message. Is it something, uh, when I heard your first message from yesterday, something that you gave me the chills on very deep level made me cry because I realized I had healing that needed to happen. I had understood that before, but I'm realizing I have been lacking both trust and faith. There have been on there various things that you've expressed that have already opened my soul, and you had shared that doing your work has compromised certain relationships, such as that with your son. I can only imagine that must be difficult, but perhaps knowing that you have helped me and I'm just one person may help to ease that pain. These words of Kalil Gibran come to mind. Deeper sorrow carves into our being the more joy we can contain. I may go a step further to also express that the ability to feel such pain and overcome perhaps only allows you to connect and reach with people on a deeper level. Perhaps that is the reason, the higher reason, for the heartbreak from not being allowed, being able to be with your love. Your ability to connect is shaped through your connection to higher spirit and also the connection to the human experience. Anyway, I really hope you don't take that as me trying to diminish your feelings in any way, just trying to offer a perspective to help, as heartbreak is an emptiness that can feel meaningless. Anyway, I will definitely say a prayer for your love to open. And I responded, tears pouring down my face as they are right now. I'm blessed to have been able to be a help to you. Thank you. I do agree with you. I know I had to go through what I have for so many reasons, and my love is my twin soul. I know and I knew that our union was one of service first, and that it was going to be the hardest thing I would ever have to go through. But in the end, I was shown we are going to come together and soon. So thank you. I believe in the power of prayer. And then she just wrote back. That's why I'm telling. She just wrote back. I said a prayer, beautiful woman. And I said, thank you. So you, by doing what you are going through, if you are able to stand up and be strong in the face of whatever adversity you're going through, because so many of us are, others are watching you, your children are watching you, others that maybe aren't strong enough yet. Like I said, that the ones, when I asked you guys to share these videos, I said there's a lot that are in the spiritual closet right now still, afraid to come out because of what other people might say, just like homosexuals are afraid to come out because of the fear of what their family or other people may think of them. <laughs> Live their life in a closet so unhappy, like that stifled, bored, stuck person that's trying to pay attention to the rules and obey the law, the letter of the law, when they're so miserable doing it. And yet when somebody finally steps out and, and, and liberates themselves, because you have to liberate yourself, the freedom that you feel when you're able to express yourself is, is unlike anything. It felt so good to tell, to tell my twin, Happy anniversary, 20 years, the night I met the man who took my heart. I never gave it back. I said I'd be a friend to the end and you can take it to the bank. <laughs> you know, it felt good to say it. I wanted to say it. I wanted to say it to the person that meant so much to me and means so much to me. And so if I can inspire you to speak out to someone that you love, or to share or express your feelings about something or maybe come forward with something that's been painful that you've been hiding so that you can share that and allow someone else to help you carry that burden that's what love's about that's what unconditional love is for you shouldn't have to be on your own and carry the pain or the burden you know people feel that they don't want to be a burden to other people but we want to help the ones we love don't you want to help the ones you love and see that's the thing it's the ones that are so strong and that are helping everyone else that never think about allowing somebody else to help them. We're afraid to help them. They're afraid to be helped. Right? Listen to the song right now. I had a dream. I jumped so high. Touch the cloud. That's what my dreams were about last night. We danced with monsters. We did in our dreams last night. Never going to look back. Never going to give it up. 
Now it's about being awake in the right way. This is going to be the best day of my life. See? That's the feeling you get when you express yourself in truth and you open up and you relieve yourself from everything that you've got bottled up inside of you. These people that are coming forward that were molested and they, and they kept it inside and they carried the shame. Why should they carry that shame? It's not their shame to carry. It's the shame of the others. They should be outed. The ones that have been abusive. Why should you carry the shame? Wow. This is all about liberating. I howled at the moon with friends and then the sun came crashing in. See? With friends. You rely on friends, soul, family, spirit. All the possibilities. Epiphanies. So the light's gone on. I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to back down. Right? <clears throat> this is it. This is it. This is a uh, month of Scorpio is a month when things come to the light. The truth comes out. People tell how they're feeling. <clears throat> right now, I was just highlighted to say to you, unconditional love is when you would wholeheartedly do anything for someone. You would do it without them even asking. You would do it because you want to, because they mean that much to you. And what a beautiful feeling that is to have found someone worth being that vulnerable for. That's the feeling of unconditional love. I hear it calling outside my window. I feel it in my soul. The stars were burning so bright. The sun was out till midnight. I say we lose control. Remember who was outside of my window? Who kept coming and landing on the roof of my window right outside? The great horned owl who spoke the truth, saw through the deception, saw through the darkness, saw and heard things in the dark and in the dreams. This is the best day of my life. It can be your best day of your life too. Let go of what you're holding on to. Speak your truth. Know that you're safe. Take that first step in your business, towards a relationship, in making up with your family that you've had fights with, with your loved ones, whatever it is that you've been holding back. The hummingbird says that you will accomplish what you might feel is impossible and what others might feel is impossible. Hummingbird says lighten up and recognize you're the winner. <laughs> With that, I'll end our reading. Have a beautiful day. I love you.